Hey everyone, Kevin P. McAuliffe here, and I am back again with another Creative Cow tutorial. You know, I've been on a bit of a multicam kick lately, so I thought what better way to keep that multicam kick going than to show you how to do multicam inside of Avid's Media Composer 6 and Symphony 6, and we're going to complicate things a little bit because you'll remember that the footage that I'm using doesn't have any syncable time code, meaning basically the three cameras were just started and there's no point of reference to sync any of the shots up. Well, I'm going to show you how simple it is in this tutorial to take those three camera angles and sync them up literally in about a minute and get multicam up and running quick and simple. Okay, so short introduction. So let's command tab into Avid Symphony and let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to get in and we're going to need to find a sync point for each one of our three angles. You'll see I'll come over here. I'll double click. We've got angle number one. That's the close up of me talking. I've got angle number two here, which is just the B roll. Then I've got angle number three, which is the wide shot. And how I'm going to sync these up is actually by using the audio. Now, most people, what they like to do is get in and look at waveforms. But to be perfectly honest, for me, it's a lot easier just to use my ear. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn on the caps lock button. Caps lock is going to let me use audio scrubbing inside of Media Composer 6 or Symphony 6. What we're going to do is come over to angle one first. And let's just get to the point where I'm about to speak. And there we go. I was just talking. So what I'm going to do once I get to about that point is I'm simply going to move ahead frame by frame by using number four at the top of my keyboard. And if you listen, here we go. There we go. I'm just going to mark that as my in point right there. And you can hear it. Listen. There we go. That's the first frame of me talking. So I'm going to mark that as my in point. What I'm going to do is head on over here to angle number two. We'll come back to the beginning here. I'm going to hit play. Oh, and you hear I come in pretty much right away. So let's just go frame by frame again. There we go. There I am. I'm going to mark that as my in point. And again on angle three here, let's come down here. Let's just get to the point where I get pretty close here to the podium before I play this. Here we go. I'm just going to stop right there. I'm going to back up using the number three at the top of the keyboard. And there we go. There's that first frame. So I'm going to mark that as my end point. So basically now I have set a sync for all three of those shots. So what I need to do now is I need to group them together. So what we're going to do is simply select all of the clips by holding shift on the keyboard on both Mac and Windows. I'm going to navigate up to bin and you're going to see that I have an option here called simply enough group clips. I'm going to select group clips and what I'm going to be asked is, well, hold on a second. How do I want to group these clips together? Now, in the ideal world, I'd be using the source time code. But obviously, like I said, I don't have matching source time codes. That's why I went in and added in points. All I'm going to do now is simply say OK, and I'm going to have a new grouped clip over here that's been created. We'll just call this Kevin's Multi Cam. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this clip and we're going to drag it over here into the preview window. You're going to see that the clip is black, but as I drag down, there we go. There's me cutting in to talk. And you'll see I'm just dragging through now. Now I don't have caps lock selected because if I did, what's going to happen is you'll hear it scrub through. There we go. So what I'm going to do is simply hit T on the keyboard to mark the entire clip that's on both Mac and Windows. And I'm going to hit B to edit this clip into my timeline. Now you're going to see right now I'm on angle one for video and for audio. So how do I actually get in and start doing some multicam editing? Because I don't actually see any commands here to switch over. Well, we're actually going to need to add a command right over here into our composer window. So let's do that. What I'm going to do is navigate up to tools and I'm going to come down to the command palette. Now inside of the command palette, you're going to notice that we have a whole bunch of different options in here. One of which is multicam. Now you're going to notice right down here at the bottom of the command palette, I have three options. I have button to button reassignment. I have the active palette and I have menu to button reassignment. Now, because I want to take a button from in here and I want to stick it over here in the composer window, I want to do a button to button reassignment. And since I only have three camera angles, I'm going to use a quad split. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take quad split and I'm going to drag it right over here to the far right hand side of the screen. I'm going to drop it off right there. Now, of course, I'm going to need to do something else because I'm actually going to need to switch back and forth between camera angles. So you're going to see right here, I have the option to switch multicam angle one, two, three, all of the way up to nine camera angles. But of course, I'm going to need my keyboard first. So let's navigate over here to settings. I'm simply going to scroll down here to keyboard. There we go. Double click on it. 
And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign M and the keys beside it as multicam angle 1, 2, 3, and 4, because I don't need to use these trim keys. So I'm simply going to take multicam angle 1, drag it and drop it there, 2, again, 3, again, 4, again. There we go. Okay, so we got now multicamera angle 1, 2, 3, and 4, simply M and then the three keys beside it. So what I'm going to do is just close the keyboard. And what I'm going to do now is since I've now taken this quad split option and I've added it to the composer window, what I'm going to do here is just come right down to the middle. I'm actually going to come over and tell Symphony or Media Composer that I want to use multicam. And as soon as I click it, you're going to see now that I have my different camera angles. So you'll see now if I drag all the way back, I can watch all of these clips at the same time. Now the only thing is, is that you're going to notice that this angle down here is the one that I'm going to want to start with. So what I'm going to do is just come all the way back to the beginning and I'm simply going to tell Symphony that I want to start with this camera angle and it's actually very easy to do. I could obviously select it here or what I can do is simply navigate right up here to my group clip icon. I'm going to click on it and you'll see right now, first of all, I can tell it that I want the audio to follow the video, which I actually don't. But what I actually want to do is I want to start with camera angle number three. So I'm just going to select angle number three and you're going to see it immediately snaps to that camera angle. Now, of course, I can also get in and decide which audio channels I want to use as well. And I think in this case, I actually want to use the audio from angle three. That's for the right channel. You'll see as soon as I selected it, it switched over right down here in my timeline. And let's select angle three for audio track number one. And now I'm ready to multicam edit. So what I'm going to do is get my fingers ready on the keyboard here. I'm just going to navigate back. I can leave all these tracks on because remember, I'm going to be multicam editing with just video only because I know that the audio is not going to follow the video. So let's just turn these off anyways. What we're going to do is cue this up. I'm simply going to hit play on the keyboard and let's do some multicam editing. We're on camera angle number three and I'm going to come up on number one there. So let's just cut to me. You'll see it's a bit laggy only because I'm actually recording this tutorial onto the same drive I'm attempting to play this media back from. So let me just cut to my brother and sister-in-law. And we'll just cut to the wide shot now. Like I said, a little bit of lag only because this is happening on the same drive that I'm recording this tutorial onto. But you get the idea of how this works. So I'll cut back to angle number three now because I know we're going to go to Jesus here in a second. And there we go. I'm going to go to Jesus there for a quick pan out. I'll come back to me here because I'm going to fade out at that point. And I know that this goes right back up to Jesus. So we'll just cut to that wide shot again. And I'm going to wait for that camera to move back in on my brother and sister-in-law. You see it move over here. Just come back to me here while I'm waiting. Here's the zoom in. And here we go. There's the zoom in to my brother and sister-in-law. Very nice. And let's go to it there. A little bit of a blip there. And you'll see that we just lost the audio for that channel, but that's okay. Because remember, I can easily switch that at any point. And I'm finished. So I'm going to do a little bow. And I'm going to leave, and there we go. Now, what I can obviously do at this point, we'll just end my multicam here. I'm just going to come back a little bit just to where we all disappear from frame. Here we go. Perfect. I'm just going to mark that as my endpoint. We'll just cut that off at the end there. See you later. Now, a couple things that I can do in here. You'll remember that I lost my audio right about there. So what I could do if I needed to is simply add an audio edit to my audio tracks. I can simply use the add edit button right here. And now what I can do is just say, okay, well maybe I want to use camera angle one's audio. So let's just come up here. I'll say we'll switch to angle one at this point. There we go. And you see it adjust right down there. So what's going to happen when this plays back, if I just simply hit play here, you'll see that as soon as the edit happens, now the audio obviously changes, but that's okay because I wanted to show that to you just for the purposes of you seeing that really at the end of the day, even if you had audio coming from different sources, you can simply just add an edit and switch audio at any point. What I'd probably do in this case is I'd just stick with that angle one for the entire way, probably from the point where I would start talking, maybe even about, let's say here. What I can do is simply just mark that as my end point and I can actually hit the extend key just to extend that audio all the way down, put a little dissolve in here, maybe for about, oh, I don't know, 12 frames. Simply say add, and now what we have is my audio clean the entire way through. What I'm going to do is just switch out a multicam mode here, just so I don't get that lag while I'm trying to record here. There's the audio dissolved, didn't even notice it. And there we go, there's me speaking. And the great thing, like I said, is I can simply come down now to the point where I had that zoom out of the Jesus statue. Let's just find here, there we go. 
And all I have to do now is simply come in, I can simply hit the dissolve key on my keyboard and say, yeah, let's put a dissolve in of 24 frames. Say add, and guess what we have now? Got a great little transition between the shots just like that. And a fantastically simple way to get in and not only sync up shots very easily simply by using your ears, but also multicam editing inside a media composer or symphony you can see. Very simple to do, very simple to get in and make alterations if you need to. And in the end, probably one of the better multicam experiences you're going to find in a nonlinear editing application. So if you have any questions, you have any comments, or you have any tutorial requests, you can send them to Kevin P. McAuliffe at gmail.com. This has been Kevin P. McAuliffe. Thanks a lot for watching.